Actor Mark Hamill is well known for playing Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars movies. His role in the series has had a strong effect on many people and has been loved by audiences of all ages. Whether it's his memorable lines or how he portrayed the hero's journey, fans all over the world really enjoy Hamill's performances. Share your favorite memory or personal experience about this classic actor in the comments below. And don't forget to keep watching for some interesting, surprising, and sad facts about his career. Stay tuned for more. The actor known for his role as Luke Skywalker in the original Star Wars trilogy has been in a lot of different movies. If you're a fan of his work, you should check out some of the movies he's been in. Besides Star Wars, he's also known for doing voice acting, especially as the Joker in various Batman cartoons and video games. If you're new to his work, you should definitely watch the first Star Wars movie where he played Luke Skywalker, the second one, and the third one to finish off the original trilogy. Apart from Star Wars, his voice acting is really good in animated movies like Batman Mask of the Phantasm and Batman the Killing Joke where he's the voice of the Joker. He's also been in some regular movies like The Big Red One and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. If you want to see how good he is at voice acting, you should check out shows like Batman the Animated Series and Avatar The Last Airbender where he voices some cool characters. Overall, this actor has been in a lot of different kinds of movies and shows, showing off his skills both in acting and voice work. The actor who played Luke Skywalker appeared in the Star Wars Holiday Special. In 1978, the special was made to keep Star Wars popular and sell merchandise while waiting for the next movie. Despite the disappointment of the creator, it aired in the US and Canada, but not elsewhere. During the filming of Star Wars episode V The Empire Strikes Back, the actor broke his thumb soon after his son was born. This event caused an unexpected challenge during production. Even 40 years later, most surviving cast members still feel embarrassed about the special. The creator avoids talking about it, and another actor claims not to remember much. The actor himself skillfully avoids questions about it, leaving another cast member as the only one who openly discusses it. Mark Hamill, known for his portrayal of Luke Skywalker, has notably played the same character across various platforms. He appeared as Luke Skywalker on three different series, The Muppet Show, Family Guy, and Robot Chicken. Despite his success as Luke Skywalker, Hamill did not reprise the role for any cartoon shows or video games until much later. The first time he returned to the role was in an episode of Star Wars Forces of Destiny titled The Path Ahead, focusing on Luke's training with Yoda. Apart from the original Star Wars trilogy, he also portrayed Luke Skywalker in the NPR radio dramatizations of Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, but was unavailable for Return of the Jedi. Mark Hamill attended Niall C. Kinnick High School in Yokohama, Japan. He played Henry Aldrich in a high school production there. The school is now called Kinnick High and is on the Yokosuka Naval Base. The original site of the high school is now a Michael department store. He praised Ali Taylor's performance as Skektek and wished it hadn't been overdubbed. After finishing the dialogue, he did multiple takes of snarling, growling, and stertorous breathing, leaving him exhausted. He appeared in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, which also starred Carrie Fisher. It was the first time they had starred together since Star Wars Episode VI Return of the Jedi. Neither of them knew the other was involved until shortly after filming had been completed. Mark Hamill, known for his roles in Corvette Summer and Star Wars, faced a significant challenge before Corvette Summer's production. He endured a severe car accident in Malibu, California, leaving scars that were visible in subsequent Star Wars films. In The Empire Strikes Back, he portrayed Luke Skywalker. The decision to freeze Han Solo in Carbonite stemmed from uncertainty over Harrison Ford's return for a third movie. Initially, Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill signed on for a trilogy, but Ford hesitated. Despite Ford's request to George Lucas to end Solo's character arc, Lucas insisted on keeping him for Return of the Jedi. Apart from his acting career, Hamill is a devoted fan of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and The Kinks. He finds joy in both the comedy series and the music of the British rock band. Mark Hamill portrayed Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. While reading through the tracks of the soundtrack, he felt disappointed that John Williams didn't write a theme specifically for his character. However, when he pointed this out, Williams clarified that the main theme actually represented Luke. Before his father was transferred, Hamill attended Onondale High School in Onondale, Virginia. 
He's appeared in three films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance. Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope, Star Wars Episode V The Empire Strikes Back, and Star Wars Episode VI Return of the Jedi. The actor known for his roles in various movies and TV shows portrayed the infamous Flash villain, the Trickster, in both a live-action series and an animated one. The Trickster character, also referred to as James Jesse, was a tribute to the famous outlaw Jesse James from the Old West. To honor his connection to the area, Castleton Drive in Claremont, San Diego got renamed after him. He spent a good part of his childhood there. He attended the renaming ceremony on July 30, 2017. In a movie called Corvette Summer, he played the character Kenneth W. Dantley Jr. Additionally, in a sci-fi film called Lazarblast, released around the same time as Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope, he appeared alongside Kim Milford, who destroyed a billboard advertising the aforementioned Star Wars film with a laser gun. This connection is quite interesting, given his role in the 1977 blockbuster. The actor known for playing Luke Skywalker in Star Wars almost missed the chance to be in the movies. In 1982, he said no to playing a bad guy in Return of the Jedi because he was already committed to another film. If he hadn't left a certain TV show, things might have turned out differently for him. His journey as Luke Skywalker began in A New Hope. In 2017, he said he and Carrie Fisher had feelings for each other while filming, but they didn't act on them. His choice to focus on other projects and his experiences on set show how luck and decisions played a big part in his famous role in movies. Mark Hamill played Brent Matthews in Body Bags. The segment I is based on a true story. In 1977, he had a severe car accident, fracturing his nose, right eye socket, and cheekbone. In the film, his character loses his right eye in a car wreck. He portrayed Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. 20th Century Fox wanted to rename the movie because they didn't like the title Star Wars. Hamill mentioned in a 2013 Nerdist podcast that one concern was potential female audiences being put off by the word wars in the title. Another reason was that some thought the movie might be about the Elizabeth Taylor Richard Burton marriage. In Star Wars episode V The Empire Strikes Back, when he struggled with the Dagobah scenes with Yoda, Frank Oz brought in Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog to make him laugh. Mark Hamill played Luke Skywalker in Star Wars episode 4 A New Hope. Alec Guinness, who portrayed Obi-Wan Kenobi, initially had doubts about the movie, criticizing the dialogue and describing it as fairy tale rubbish. He later claimed credit for suggesting his character's early demise to avoid more lines he disliked. However, George Lucas stated it was his decision. Despite Guinness' reservations, he praised the film's technical brilliance and excitement, though he found some dialogue excruciating. Lucas, Hamill, Ford, and Fisher praised Guinness' professionalism on set. Despite disliking the script, Guinness admired Lucas' previous work and found the narrative compelling.